and not our community in Turlock, solar energy is used to create renewable energy. And an example of that is these three solar panels right here and our own CSU stands us in Turlock. What is solar energy? Solar energy is energy derived from the sun that comes through the atmosphere due to solar radiation and is collected by the solar panels. Okay, so solar energy. There are several advantages to solar energy, such as it is free, and it is one of the most promising renewable energy sources in the world. It's non-polluting and has a lifespan over to 20 to 30 years. However, there are some disadvantages to it, such as you can't receive that much energy during the night. very same location as Stanislaus is a, a professor by the name of Dr. Alamon who's doing research similar to that of the solar panel energy. See, his research involves the absorbance and transmittance of new materials that are being found. This research particularly involves combining materials in which the absorbance of the material is recorded and the transistance is also recorded to see the relationship between the two. In this case, we want very high absorbance so that all the sun's energy, or at least the majority of it, is being absorbed. In that case, there's more electrons being released. In this case, the transmittance will be very high. So from the transmittance, there will be, it will be shown that the electricity will be highly produced in this matter. Uh, fun fact about uh, solar energy. Uh, fun fact one is that it's actually called photovoltaic cells, or PV for short. Uh, fun fact part two is that there was a rise of it uh, previous to the 1980. However, when 1980, 1980 hit, uh, pro uh, funding for it dropped by 90%, and that was due to the Reagan administration. They cut all that money and spent it towards the military. Solar energy is expensive, non-efficient, and not convenient compared to the oil industries. But through the use of solar energy and other renewable resources, we can break the monopoly and protect and preserve this world. How do scientists come up with the idea of solar energy, well they looked to nature for inspiration. They saw how plants use photosynthesis to use the sunlight and help convert the raw material into food for themselves in the form of glucose. In your personal opinion, what do you believe about solar energy? When I believe our solar energy, it's a very good thing for us to have in our earth and to save our earth and to help our earth. It's what we need as humans to help us survive. Solar energy is vital for our future because it breaks the dependency on fossil fuels and oil, which will ruin our planet. Uh, in my opinion, I think solar energy is really good. It's a very plausible uh, uh, method to uh, renewable energy. However, I don't really see us changing that. We're so dependent on fossil fuels that I don't see it as a thing in the future. Right, so in my opinion, I am all for it. It's nice to see that um, places such as Stanislaus use solar panels to like power their own location. But I really don't see how we're gonna change so dramatically since we're all so dependent on fossil fuel. And the United States backing out of the Paris Agreement is a huge blow because pretty much just stopped all further research on it or any possible way for the United States to actually continue to improve its efficiency and energy. Bro, oh, what the hell are you doing, my dude? Are you transcending? I'm trying to photo photosynthesize, my dude. We're talking about how solar energy and solar panels, plants are natural at this. They convert solar light into energy. Glass. Three. Solar power was in a constant state of innovation in 2017. With new advances in solar panel technology announced almost every week in the past year alone, there have been milestones in solar efficiency, solar energy storage, wearable solar tech, and solar design tech. Read on to get the shit. <laughs> Where are we going, my dude? Stop filming me. Solar panel was in a constant state of innovation in 2017. With new advances and. Okay, can you stop?